Hi, I'm Rosie, a senior product engineer here at Zero High, and today I wanted to walk you through the new Zero High API. Let's take a look. So what does the Zero High API have to offer? It allows you to retrieve information about your style guides and pages, such as the text content or the status of those pages. It also allows you to update the status of those pages, meaning you can integrate Zero High more deeply into your existing automation flows. Let's get set up and see how it all clicks together. The first step to using the Zero High API is to create an authentication token. You can do this by going over to your organization settings. When you're over there, head to the developer section. You'll see here that there may be some existing authentication tokens. These can come from something such as a style dictionary export setup in your token set. Otherwise, hit create. You'll then be presented with a screen where you can create your authentication token. The first thing you'll need to do is give it a name. I've called mine page API. That's because I plan on using this token to access page data. You'll see there are some options for specific use cases. This will just automatically pick the correct scopes for your token for that use case. However, I would like to make my own custom token and I'm going to add on the pages scopes. Scopes define what your token is able to access. You'll see here, I want my token to be able to read page data, read page statuses and modify the page statuses. You can add as many or as few scopes to each token as you wish. Once I hit create token, it will generate the details. These details should be treated as if they were a username and password. So the client ID is something that you should be able to share with other people. However, the access token should be treated like a password and should be kept secret. For that reason, the client ID is something you're able to access again. However, the access token is a one time only. If you need a new one, you can refresh it in your organization setting. For now, I'm gonna make a copy of these to use in a moment. In order to work out what I need to call the pages API endpoint, I'm going to take a look at the documentation. This can be found at developers.zerohight.com. As you can see, there's plenty of information in the documentation around the various different endpoints, as well as authentication tokens and the parameters used in those endpoints. I'm gonna jump into the pages endpoint. This page here runs through how I can get the content of a page from the API. It states that the main thing I will need is the ID of that page. There are examples showing you how you can call the API endpoint and what details you'll need, as well as what to expect from the responses. Let's jump into an example of trying to get some content from a page. I know that I'd like to get the information from this button component page. The first thing I'll need to do is get the ID of this page. To get the ID of your pages, you'll need to list out all of the pages from within a style guide. So let's hit this API endpoint first. You'll see here that this endpoint requires us to have the style guide ID in order to get the pages. There are two ways in which you can do that. One is by calling the style guides list endpoint, which will list all of your style guides. The other is by heading to your style guide within your browser, looking at the URL when you're in editor mode, and taking this number after the slash s. We'll take this ID and we'll hit slash style guides slash ID slash pages. Once I've hit send, you'll see I get a list of all of my pages with their names, their IDs, and they're created and updated at times. We'll scroll down and find my page that's called button. This here is the ID that we will need to hit the API endpoint to get the content. Back here in the documentation, you can see it's as simple as hitting slash pages slash ID. So I will add slash pages and the ID that I've copied from the previous response and hit send. As you can see, it's returned back all of my content as well as the name of the style guide and the introduction. You can then use this content however you wish within your own automations. This is just a quick look at what the API is capable of. And there are many use cases of what you can achieve with the data that is being exposed. You could use the page content data to train your own LLM or be used as part of an external search tool. There is enough information in the response to point people back to the page in zero height if they need to dig deeper for more information. You can also use it to build your own automation flows around keeping page statuses up to date with the progress of your work outside of zero height. There are many more interesting solutions you could come up with, and we'd really love to hear of any that you have or any feedback that you have on the API itself.